The barge is proceeding along the upper canal. Looking back 70 years ago, our waterways were a key part of industry, helping to move all manner of raw materials and products. Now, the owners of this canal are trying to entice more businesses back to using the water to transport their freight. The vast majority of all of the freight that's transported around the UK uses our road network. Some of it also goes underground using the pipeline and a bit of it is transported through the air. There's also a large part which uses the rail system and a significant part uses the waterways. Around a third of the 2,000 mile canal and river network in England and Wales is regularly used for moving large scale freight, such as these containers on the Manchester Ship Canal, which can have anything in from cars to bottles of wine. Over the last four years it's changed quite significantly. In 2009 we moved 3,000 containers on the board service that was running then. This year we'll do somewhere between 20 and 25,000 containers, so that's a massive shift in volume. It feels quite old school to transport things on water. I mean, how useful is it for business? It's very useful, really. The fundamental difference is, um, for tongue carried, uh, you use much less fuel on water than you do using road or rail. Of course, it can take a lot longer buying water, but that hasn't stopped Kellogg's, who've been using the canal since 1938. Back then we were using it to bring in raw materials, and now as we celebrate 75 years of our operations, we've gone full circle and we're using it for our finished goods. The owners of this canal are hoping that a £35 million investment will help to steer new business onto the waterways.